just arrived a month after being shipped is this Vox pacemaker from 1966 I believe it is uh, a Thomas organ era Vox made in the US and it's got some cosmetic issues which I will address it was shipped with only this little bit of nothing on each side in a cardboard box without any bubble wrap and by some miracle it seems to have made it through the process now the bead here has come loose the piping has come loose and the grill cloth is pulling up so I will be doing some cosmetic repairs on this app when the time comes I'll try to get all that sorted out pretty again I'm not sure if that's going to allow me to redo that center join because this stuff shrinks with time and I'll ask the owner whether he'd like that just done as best as possible keeping the original stuff or whether he'd like new white piping which I can age a bit uh, that gold bead will be laid back where it's supposed to be and the grill cloth will be tightened down. That'll be a lot of careful glue work. For right now, I'm going to apply some painter's tape just to kind of hold things in place so I can move the amp and we'll look at the rest of it. Okay, that'll keep the worst of it from falling apart. While I've got it here, it's going to need new feet. That's no big deal. The little gold beads in the channels are coming out. That happens a lot. Uh, that's just something I can do with super, super glue. And before I pick it up, I'm just making sure there's nothing I need to tape down. All right, let me bring this up and we'll take a better look at it. All right, the tubes were just wrapped in this paper in the back, just rattling around. Are these tubes or this is just a wad of paper? No, there are no tubes. Okay, that's all right. Tubes are easy to get. So this paper just goes away now. So no tubes. It's got this honking big Alnico speaker. Looks to be original. I don't know much about this era of Thomas Organ stuff. So the uh, rear panel here is broken off has unoriginal screws that's uh, not that big a deal this strip is loose the chassis has come out uh, I don't know whether this was as sold or a shipping thing uh, given that there is no hardware holding this to this I assume that was not shipping damage um, if necessary this video could serve as a shipping damage claim documentation but I think we'll be all right some things look scary but aren't really let me get a screwdriver and take this one screw out take this panel off so that wood doesn't strip okay definitely needs a new two three conductor power cable it's missing the bottom rear panel it'll match it's the same owner as AC 30 that's missing a bottom rear panel um, this will get attached properly, all that. This is just held on together by the wires. I don't have time to fully open this up right now. Um, so this will have to wait for the full thing when I get back from our honeymoon. But everything I see in there looks original and in pretty good shape. This uh, Thomas Organ era pacemaker is not really like any UK made JMI Vox, but it is very similar and is essentially, if you kind of squint at it, a Fender 5E3 Deluxe made with EL84s. So I predict very good things from the sound of this amp once uh, we get in here and really make it sing. So I gotta find the right hardwares do some cosmetic repair. Sorry about the car there. And uh, 
I think this thing's going to be pretty awesome. I look forward to this. Oh, it's a 5E3 Deluxe with a tremolo, by the way. And uh, these knobs are mostly unobtainium. But I'll see what reverb and eBay hold. Maybe getting one won't break the bank. Either way, this will get a, a knob of some sort. Groovy. Groovy, groovy, groovy.